Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at FC Kerbeck Buick GMC in Palmyra, New Jersey to check out this brand new 2024 Buick Encore GX. This is the Sport Touring all-wheel drive trim in Summit White with an ebony leatherette interior. We're going to check out this Encore GX, see if this subcompact SUV is something that you should look at here in the new year. So let's dig in. All right, the front end of this Encore GX, the Summit White with the Buick emblem on the hood. Now, we got all LED lighting up front. Up top here on the top lighting housing, we have our LED daytime rain lamps, LED turn signals. Down here are LED headlamps, no fog lamps here. We do have this gloss black grille with chrome surround ST for sport touring right up here. Looking good. So for a little small little subcompact SUV, it looks pretty good up front. Just not sure how much of a beating this gloss black is going to take down here once you get it out on the road. But as we move in closer for a closer look of the lighting housing over here, I'll have Dave move around. You can see Buick hit a little Easter egg with their emblem right inside that daytime running light housing. Looks pretty cool. Now as we hit our wheel and tire setup, what we're looking at is an 18 inch gloss black wheel. Buick emblem on the center cap, standard brake and rotor package. Now, these wheels are wrapped in Yokohama Kinergy GT tires, 225 on the width, a 55 series sidewall 18s, all four corners, all wheel drive. And then as we move on out, taking a look at our full side profile, we do have the white with the gloss black. Now we have a lot of gloss black around the wheel wells and down along the door sills which again could take a beating with use over time. But overall, for a short subcompact SUV, it's got some nice lines across the back haunch and it looks pretty good. Now, as we move in closer to our side view mirror, we are color matched. No LED turn signals on the side view mirror. And then we have a color matched front and rear door handle with some chrome accents up top. We got a color matched roof with a spoiler coming off the back, an old fashioned antenna would like to see a shark fin there. Then we have brushed aluminum on the roof rails, no sunroof. Rear end of this Encore GX, again, the roof spoiler coming off the top, gives us enough room to tuck this up underneath and clean this up, protect it from the elements and car washes. Let me know what you guys think. Buick emblem on the back, Buick underneath, Encore GX on the left, ST or Sport Touring on the right, all gloss black down below around the license plate area and the rear diffuser area. We have a functional dual exhaust and that's tucked up underneath the rear bumper. All right, we're under the hood of this Encore GX and what are we looking at for a power plant? Well, we have Buick's 1.3 liter turbocharged inline three cylinder engine made it to a nine speed automatic transmission, no CVT, so that's a plus, 155 horsepower, 174 pound feet of torque, MPGs, 26 in the city, 28 on the highway, 27 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. All right, so before we get into the interior, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much does this Encore GX Sport Touring cost? Well, here's the deal. This vehicle has no options on it, so everything I'm going to show you is standard equipment in this car. So the MSRP base is $28,400. The only thing we need to add in is destination and delivery of $1,295 from Buick's South Korea assembly plant. And we have a total vehicle MSRP from the factory of $29,695. Let's check out the interior. Starting with the foot box, a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator. However, I would like to see some rubberized finish on that dead pe pedal so you don't get the carpet destroyed every time you use it. The floor mats are in the tailgate area of the Encore GX right now. Seats, we have manual seats for both the driver and the front passenger with ebony leatherette interior. It's nice and soft, nice light gray stitching. We have the S tier sport touring embroidered into the headrests. Headrests are nice and soft. So it looks pretty good. Door panels looking good. We got soft touch all the way around, except on the armrest, which is semi-soft with the leatherette and the stitching chrome on the door handle flat black on the switch gear. 
a pretty good size door pocket on this thing. Standard audio system in here. Up top, we got the soft touch. We do have some dark gray or and black trim to break things up to go into the heat and air vent, which looks nice. More of the soft touch, and then down below, nice large glove box. Infotainment system now, we have Buick's 11-inch, or I should say General Motors 11-inch, multimedia system, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. There's no built-in nav into this system, so all the nav will come through your phone, but I don't think that's a big problem for most people. Here's your volume button right there. Here's where you can get your music right here, and then you can go down to connecting your phone for Bluetooth purposes. You got your maintenance information, your trip information, your fuel economy information, as well as resetting your best score if you're really going for a gas mileage score right here. And then we come down here, we have our general settings, Wi-Fi hotspot, you can go into your general settings, and this is where you can go ahead and do your language, set up your Wi-Fi hotspot, all that good stuff in here, over-the-air updates. So it's a nice, easy system to use, no problem at all. We go to reverse, nice large backup camera, nice and clear with trajectory, so they got you covered there. So for this subcompact SUV, this is a pretty nice and simple system. As we move on down, two heat and air vents, four-way hazards. Now, we do not have climate control in here, so you have your standard heat and air dial, the left dial here for the temperature, the right dial here for the fan speed. We do have air conditioning, so yay, there's your defrost action. Now, down below here, we have a USB-C, a USB-A, and a 12-volt, and an area here to lie your phone that's rubberized, so you won't slide around on you, but we do not have a wireless charging pad. In and behind here, we have our engine auto stop start on off lane keep assist on off or track control off here is the gear shift it's got the nice leather gator with the stitching to go through this nine speed automatic we have an electric emergency brake and then as we take a look at buick's key fob looks pretty good unlock the buick emblem is lock panic button nice and light no problem i do like the trim ring though in chrome around the two cup holders, but you gotta be careful of this gloss black plastic that you don't get it scratched or a lot of fingerprints on it. Another area for storage in here, your armrest semi-soft with black stitching, and then we open it up and there's an area in here for storage. Buick steering wheel, we have a nice leather wrap wheel with some stitching, which looks good. The Buick emblem on the horn button, some chrome trim to lift the wheel up. It's a flat bottom wheel that allows you to get in and out of the passenger cockpit of this vehicle easier because it is a very small uh, SUV. So I like that touch. Now we have flat black on our switch gear. So here on the left, you got your cruise control safety suite controls on the right, telephone voice commands, and the controls for the digital portion of your dash, which doesn't have much flexibility, but it's not bad for a small vehicle. On the left stalk, you have your adaptive high beams and turn signals. On the right, you have your front and rear wiper. Your push button start is right around the bend right there. And then as we swing over to the left side, this is where we can set our headlights and where we can adjust our brighten and dim the dash. Now, we do have a manual tilting and telescoping wheel, so Buick has you covered there. And then we have this 8-inch display here in the center where you're going to get your digital readouts for your coolant temperature and your fuel level, how fast you're going, your um, lane keep assist features, as well as lane following assist features in here. So they pretty much got you covered with all the necessities you may need to see. But it is digital and it does look fairly nice. And it's about eight inches if I didn't say so. Overhead console, pretty simple. You want your dome lighting to come on and off when you open and close the door. This button remains in the center. So when you open the door, lighting comes on. Close the door, lighting will dim out. Here's our SOS button in case there's an emergency on the road. There's your OnStar button right there in case you need to talk to Buick about anything. Rear view mirror, standard rear view mirror, and then on our sun visor with vanity and a light. Does it slide? Yes, it does. Getting in the rear of the Encore GX, I have the seat set for my driving position, so we're going to hop on in. Low bridge getting in, the, getting in here. 
We have a sloping roof, small vehicle, so be careful with your head. Well, once you're in, plenty of room for my head, shoulders, and knees at 5 foot 11. Leatherette all the way down, seat pocket behind the driver and the front passenger. And then back here, down below, we have an area for storage, probably to slide your phone in. Then you have a USB-C, USB-A for connectivity, which is a nice touch. And then the back seat, same vibe as the front. The only difference is instead of soft touch up top on the door panel, we have hard black plastic. So here's our front door panel, and here's the back door panel looking the same. Back seats, same leatherette with the stitching, nice and soft, nice and comfortable, no center armrest. Would like to see one in there because now my only cup holder option is going to be on either door panel on either side, and that's going to be it. But overall, for a really small Buick, it's not a bad feel here in the back seat. All right, getting in the tailgate of this Encore GX ST. It is a manual tailgate, so you have to come to the back, and right above the license plate, there's a button. You hit it and lift up. Nice and light on the lift up, no problem. Now, what we're looking at with the rear seats up, 23.5 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of this Encore GX. Here are the carpeted floor mats that come with the vehicle right here. Nice carpeted area, and then underneath, you get a spare tire and a jack, which is a nice touch. We have some laying in here, some tie downs in here. But now to get the rear seats down, you have two, uh, two uh, ways to do it. You can lower the tonneau cover, which is what I'm going to do, like that. And now there's a button right on the back. and right. You just push it and throw it. Thing on the other side, push it and throw it forward. Then you can put your tonneau cover back up. Or if you don't want to do this, you can just walk around to each door and do it that way. But now, with the rear seats down and this tonneau cover, which is removable, out, you're looking at 50.2 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of the Encore GX. All right, here is the window sticker. We'll zoom on in. 24 Encore GX Sport Touring, Summit White, Ebony. Standard equipment across the top. And remember, there are no options on this vehicle. Everything in here is standard except for your destination and delivery charge. Safety ratings made in Korea and our fuel economy estimates. Let's take this baby out for a spin. All right, we're out on the road in this 24 Encore GX Sport Touring all wheel drive action. And this 1.3 liter uh, in line three gets the car up to speed down the road. I mean, it's a very, very small subcompact car. Now, this is smaller than the Invista that we saw a few weeks ago. So this is the smallest Buick offering in the subcompact SUV segment. And, but you know what? The seats are really comfortable. The steering isn't bad. It's light and it's a little vague, but it's an SUV. It's not a performance car, so it's fine for what you need. I like the fact that we have two, two digital instrument clusters. They look good. They present the information well and easy to read. I got plenty of visibility out the windshield, side view mirror, side glass, rear view mirror. I have the full set of safety technology in here. I got blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, lane following assist, all that jazz is in this Encore GX. And for someone who's, I, I think this car would be right in the money for somebody who, let's say, is going into the city all the time or living in areas where you got a street park, parallel park, this vehicle is small, it's nimble in and out of tight spots, and, and if you had to parallel park out on the street in New York or you live somewhere, uh, at least by me, like in Princeton, New Jersey, where you have to parallel park all the time, this would be something very easy to get in, in and around the town in. So I think this is a, a good offering, especially if you need a city car here in this Encore GX. But it's smooth. It gets up to speed fairly easily. It's nimble in the corners.
feels good. You get a little wind noise, you get a little road noise. I mean, that's to be expected in a small vehicle like this. But I like the white, Summit white with the black. It looks good. I'm just worried that that gloss black is going to get a little beat up as you go down the road and put mileage on it. But overall, it feels pretty good. And this 1.3 liter doesn't do half bad. So here we're going to check out our brakes. Look at that. Stops very nicely, very easily, no problem at all. We'll check out the turning radius on the vehicle, see how that is. It's a pretty skinny road right here, so we'll see how she does. And it gets right around. About 18 feet on the turning radius, so not bad. And it gets right around and down the road you go. Easy peasy, one, two, three, no problems at all. So again, for a, if you want a small little nimble vehicle like this, Encore GX, I think it is right in the ballpark. Now the question becomes for you as the consumer, is this vehicle, you know, in the ballpark at $29,600, effectively $30,000, and this has no options. Obviously, you can go down in trims. This is the second highest level of trim in the Encore GX, the highest level of trim being the Avenir trim, uh, but you can get these less expensive by going down in trim levels. So is that something you would do? If you need that city, that small, nimble city type vehicle, let me know in the comments, or is this Encore GX just not for you and you're probably going to go somewhere else with your hard-earned SUV money? Let me know that in the uh, comments as well. But I do want to thank FC Kerbeck Buick GMC here in Palmyra, New Jersey for allowing the channel access to this 2024 Buick Encore GX Sport Touring All-Wheel Drive Trim in Summit White for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.